Raise your hand if you know what this is. Hey, what's up? Nostalgia for the 80s and 90s has at some point burst into our lives. And it is constantly fueled by the Back to the Future trilogy, the Guardians of the Galaxy, and the Stranger Things series. First and foremost, of course, the music. That's why the old Kate Bush hit was playing from every kettle and toaster this year. And what music of those years would do without a cassette Walkman and the lightweight headphones that came with it. But it's the 2020s, and resurrecting cassette players would be madness. But those headphones, if you cut off the extra wire, would be just right. So today we will talk about JLab Rewind wireless headphones. Here we go. American brands are a rarity on my channel. So, it was interesting to try the products of the brand JLab Audio. Especially considering that in addition to the usual wireless speakers of all sorts of formats they sometimes have exceptional products like today's model. Retro design is the main reason to have a closer look at this model. The JLab Rewind is an over-the-ear headphone, lightweight, almost weightless, only 57 grams. The headband is in the form of a flexible metal band. The plastic bases of the headphones in black can be adjusted along it in a small range. The cups themselves can also change the angle slightly. The range is enough for almost any size head. The bright orange foam air cushions are also eye-catching. If this is too flashy for you, you can find a second pair in black in the box. All controls are on the side of the right earpiece. It's one big button. So it's impossible to miss. Single, double and triple presses are supported. Due to this realized play pause, answer the call, change the track, activation of the voice assistant and unexpectedly built-in equalizer. But we will talk about it later. A few words about the technology. Judging by the difference in the information originally listed on the manufacturer's website and on the box in my hands, the headphones have experienced a quiet upgrade since the announcement. The Bluetooth version has gone from version 4.2 to 5.0. This is probably due to an improvement in battery life for a couple of hours. As far as the codecs are concerned, there are no changes. Judging by the readings of the Bluetooth tweak it is a classic SBC. Sound of high resolution and lack of delays in games do not wait. But for popular music and streaming services and YouTube it is absolutely enough. I have not had any connection interruptions. At least when moving within the same apartment. Percentages of charge showed both my iPhone and my laptop. Since this is a light overhead model, I will list the pros and cons of this design. On the one side nothing sticks or steams in your ears. You do not have to put anything in anywhere. On the other side, at a certain volume all the people around you will take part in listening to your favorite music. Also, the overhead format and foam air cushions condition the sound. You have to turn up the volume more than usual. And the basic sound is subjectively specific. The emphasis is on the treble and mid-range. It is more likely to suit something classical or podcasts. If you want something different, change the sound with the built-in equalizer. You can switch between three presets by pressing the button three times. The main one is the original one. The second one is balanced. It is as neutral as possible. And the third one is the most interesting for me personally, bass boost. After all, with it finally in the music there are pleasant low frequencies. But I remind you that overhead design and foam rubber, so that dense bases full-size models do not weight even in spite of the relatively large drivers with a diameter of 36 millimeters. And unlike wired headphones from the 20th century, this is a headset. So of course, it is worth checking the work of the microphone. He is the only one here. And, by all appearances, without any frills like ENC. Here is a little demonstration in noisy conditions. One, two, three, one, two, three, checking out the sound of the microphone of J up rewind headphones. One, two, three, one, two, three. For charging you can use the cable out of the box. The headphone connector is the old mic rasp. It along with the LED indicator is hidden under the cushion on the right cup. The charging time from 0 to 100% about 2 hours. But on a single charge JLab Rewind can work for over 14 hours. That's just great. I was honestly expecting worse results. Pricing and conclusions. The JLab Rewind costs about $16 to $18 at the time of this video. The conclusion will be simple. I do not know whether it is necessary to explain why people buy such headphones. This is first of all nostalgia, retro fashion, and a stylish accessory. 
and JLab Rewind gives it all and is quite cheap. That's been it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.